That's for Kevin. Uh, all right. So on this episode of Retro, Retro Wednesdays, Wednesdays, we are taking a look at one of Brett's favorite games. Is it your favorite game? I feel like I'm speaking it's not, for you. It's not a favorite. It's not my favorite game, but I do, for whatever reason, I love this game. I'm not really sure. I think it's, <clears throat> I think it's one of those things where I gravitate towards military games like this. I love Konami, and this game I felt like, and I still do feel like, has a lot of potential. It just doesn't quite deliver because it's a bit not good. But um, <laughs> I, th- I still think it's a good, it's a good enough game to purchase, and it's it's fun. So um, since I chose it. Oh, should you show? I guess you should start because I, I'm well, not terrible at this game, so maybe you ought to. Uh... I started last the last one, so why don't you start this one? But yeah, Rush, Russian Attack is definitely is a game that definitely reminds me of your house in uh, Galloway with the popcorn ceiling that yes. we used to rub all the time and get it to, like fall down. We used to do that all the time. Yes, and I remember playing this game and being very frustrated by it. And I remember I was such an idiot. When this game first came out, and you were like, "Yeah, let's play Russian Attack," I thought you meant like Russian, like the country. And I was like, "Oh, cool!" So it's like a like a America versus Soviet thing. And then I realized it was Rush and Attack. But I mean, it is Ru- it is Russian though. Yeah, but I mean, it's the title of the game is. Well, what I mean, Russian. it's it's just to play on words. It's supposed to be Russian. So. Yeah. So, I don't know, I mean, I, I know people love this game, and I never understood why. Like, I always thought it was, like, a solid B Konami game at Jeez. best. <laughs> no, it's definitely it's definitely one of the worst Konami games I've played. But I do still kind of like it. And I died on the first level, so... <laughs> That's alright. You're walking around hitting people with a giant blue pan. Looks like a dildo. I thought of the same thing, that it was, it was a dildong, but... I thought that would be I thought that would be kind of crazy. I think my only my real complaint with this game was that it didn't like you didn't have a gun and that just drove me nuts. Right, this kind of game feels like you should have a gun. Yeah, like you need a handgun. Who's gonna send a troop into a thing without any kind of weapon at all except for a knife? And then you have like the rocket launcher that doesn't actually blow up. It's like a, just like a harpoon. Okay, so if you don't knife him, he doesn't give you the power. He up. doesn't give you the power up. Sweet. And it's like all these guys have weapons, so like, why don't you just take one of theirs? Yeah. If they made this like a shooter, like uh, Contra, I think it would have been. Yeah. Good. And I mean, I guess you could argue like, oh, it's just gonna be like Contra clone, but I mean, first off. So many games tried to do be Contra clones and they failed miserably. So, you know, Konami had the winning formula. You should stick with it because you have it. Oh no, something crazy's happening! Boom! Wow, that was good. I think this is about as far as I've I got as a kid because I just couldn't get past that one part. I would love to beat this game, but I don't think. Yeah, it's very difficult. I've never played it that much. I don't think I. I don't think I've gotten very far past the second level. I mean, graphically, it's cool. I guess. I feel like your knife animation is kind of weird. Like, what does he do? Like two hands out? Like yeah. Yeah. Or like a down, like a stab. Like that guy's got a gun. Go steal his. Me. And I think, like, I guess my other complaint about it, and I, I don't want to be, like, negative Nancy about Maybe it. Maybe negative, to, if you don't like the game, tell me. Well, no, I mean, compared to, like, you know, compared to the game we played earlier tonight, Target Renegade, this game is, like, a masterpiece, but I feel like your, your jump is, like, really floaty, and you have to be, like, really careful when you jump, because any enemy can, any enemy's touch can kill you. Yes. So like those jump kick guys are what makes it tough. All right, I thought that guy had a weapon. Well, not that time. There we go. All right. 
Gotta get my harpoon gun. Shit. Shit. <laughs> I didn't- I thought I'd fall straight down. Yeah. So, like, the story of this game, like, not that it matters, but... It's like, you're- are you American and you're fighting Russians, or is it just your Russians fighting Russians? I would say you're probably American. But, I don't know for sure. <clears throat> I think one of the reasons I had this game as a kid is just because my dad, like... He... In, in the beginning, your parents picked the games that you... Yeah. So... Shit! Man. I'm sucking. So, my dad would always pick games like this. Well, I mean, That's I guess I had it... Jackal Con... I mean, yeah. actually, if you think about it... My dad bought some pretty fucking kick-ass games for me. Bought me Contra, bought me Jackal, Life Force, Super C. Uh, Super C. I mean, all those games are. I wonder if he asked the the clerk like which ones are good. That was his. That was no, like I don't, the trade no, secret. I don't know. I don't know if he yeah. did that. But he. I can't imagine he picked that many All Stars and not have any. Whoop. Whoop. Damn it. <laughs> Alright. I'll give it a shot. That guy got me. He was a little squirrely. He was. He was coming right at you. I think this game has very typical Konami features. Yeah. Konami graphics, expressionless face, no face. Uh, pretty good music. Graphics are pretty good. I feel like this is some weird combo of Contra and Metal Gear. Yeah. Like, they were like, let's take the action style of Contra, and we'll make up jump, which is awful. Yeah, and that then, should never happen. And then, you know what it should be? It should be, the jump button is jump, and the knife button is knife, and then to throw a, a bazooka, you press up and... Oh, I should've killed that guy. But, um, oop. It seems that's what it, that's what I felt like when I was when I play this game is it makes me feel like um it's like let's take Contra and take the the really awesome jumping and gun controls away and then give it Metal Gear's like somewhat stealthy thing where I only have a knife and I can't I don't have much range or whatever I think it would have been better if this was strategically placed in the game where, like, you start out with guns and then you get captured at some point. Yeah. And then you have to fight a level with just a knife. Yeah, exactly. That might not be a bad idea. Or, or, I don't know. I think that's the thing that intrigues me about this game is, like, I really want to find the good part about it because I just feel like Konami wouldn't put out complete shit. Not that this is complete shit, but compared to the other games they put out, this game isn't all that great. Yeah, I don't... Like, it's weird. Oh, god damn it. <sighs> Fucking up jump button. It just messes me up every time. Well, now I'm screwed. I think the arcade game is the same way. Hmm. Up is jump. Well, I'm not sure. You'd think the arcade game it would be... A button. Yeah, because, I mean, you have infinite buttons, if you wanted. Well, I mean, you know, within reason. But, I mean, if you have games you can program with six buttons, you can certainly program one with three. It's true. You know what it really is? It's the jump kick, guys. I hate them. Because I feel like they're really hard to time. good at this part. <laughs> Just gotta spam it. <laughs> uh. Woo! As you leap over the fence. Plus, like, I don't know, if I was in the Russian military and I saw this game, I'd get really mad. So I'd be like, some scumbag in a blue suit and a knife, with, a, with just a knife, is gonna be able to take all of us out? That's bullshit. <clears throat> You know, Stab I never really thought of it, but they kind of revisited this game mechanic in Snake's Revenge. Oh, yeah! In that one level, in the side-scrolling levels. 
You know, that is a game that I've yet to really play. And Snakes I really, Revenge, really want to. You know what? I love it. It's got really fucking good music. Like, some of the best music I've ever heard in a, in a Nintendo game. Did you see that? And the gameplay's fun. It's a good game. I like it. Yeah. It's, not it's hard. Right. It's definitely hard. But it's fun. And there's some things that make the game easier that I didn't know about. Right. For instance, if you kill someone with a knife, you kill them. Whatever. If you kill them with a punch, they drop we they drop items. Oh, ah, okay. So you could you could get ammunition, you could get um, all that and all sorts of stuff. Don't know if they ever drop rations, but that was one of the things that I was like, oh, I didn't know that. I, le I learned it er late in my play session. Hmm. Did that and does that game have anything? Is that like I know that it's the true. According to the incredibly confusing timeline that is Metal Gear, that's the true sequel to the American game, right? Yeah, that is a sequel to the American game. I don't even think... Um, what's his name? Is it Kojima? Yeah, I wanted to say Miyamoto for a second, then I called myself. I don't think he was involved in... He wasn't involved in the Nintendo, the first Metal Gear for Nintendo. Fuck! You could do a, a, a duck How do you a do plank a duck jump? jump? That's I don't know, I just pressed, I pressed down and up at the same time. I don't know, it was weird. <clears throat> um, but then the second one, I think he had nothing to do with it. Yeah. But I thought it was really good. I, I enjoyed it. I thought it was good. And you, to be honest with you, I, didn't, I never Fuck. liked Metal Gear Solid that much. I never thought it was that great. So... I liked, I mean, I liked the first Metal Gear Solid, and then I played the second one, and everyone cried that it was Raiden and not... Alright, I, I suck. <sighs> but everyone cried that it was Raiden and not, you know, play a snake. And then I beat that one, and then from that point forward, I had no desire to play the games, any of the Metal Gear Solid games, because they were so... The plot got so confusing, I was just like, I don't care. I don't care who these people are, I don't care why they're here, I don't understand why, like... Like, there's solid snake, there's liquid snake, there's solid snake. It's like, my god, I, like, I don't know, like, I know that the newest game is super popular, and everyone's like, it's a, it's a Kojima masterpiece, and he's one of the best game designers ever, but I just don't understand that game, those games at all. Like, I feel like the plot lines were just, are just, like, so goofy and, like, confusing and just, like, designed to be, like... I don't know, I, it seems like <coughs> they're like, let's make a game, right? And then we'll just, like, wing the storyline. Because all of a sudden it's like, oh, look at me, I'm... It's like, there's boss, and then there's big boss, and then there's, like, other boss, and... Everything is, like, just, like... I know it sounds weird, but it's like, everything is... It seems, like, juvenile, the way it's, like, labeled and named. Like, there's home base, and mother base, and mother boss, and big boss, and it's like, what, what the fuck? Fox like, Hunter. yeah, like... Silver Fox, Foxhound. Everything is so goofy in the game. It's like, I don't understand any of it. I don't know who's who. I don't care, particularly. Well, that that's sort know. of like Japanese people trying to use American words is kind of cute and endearing. Maybe but, that's it. But in a game like uh, Metal, Metal Gear Solid, I feel like it, it loses its... Uh, whatever. You know what I mean? Like, it's not... It's not it's n now there's no excuse, really, to have that kind of shitty... Yeah, look, I just, I don't know, I mean, maybe the newer ones after the second one are more, nice, are more, uh, like that, I guess. You know what this game reminds me of, too? It's like another game that everyone loves and I don't get. Commando. Everyone loves that game. You're not and, a Commando, man? I mean, it's alright, but it's like, man, people make it out like it's the greatest game ever, and I'm like, I don't get it. That guy's like being the knife guy from Kung Fu. I like Commando. I think I think the reason I don't like it is because it's so damn difficult. Come back here. Run into my knife. I'm gonna stand like here. I'm gonna stand still doing Jesus this. Jesus Christ! I don't know what's wrong with me right now. Gotta get into the game. I wish you could shoot up. That would make this game way better. Yeah, I can't put my finger on it quite exactly, but something about this game makes it not that good. Yeah, I don't, know. I don't know, and people, like, love this. So if I kill this guy, can I carry more than three? No. <sighs> you can shoot it and then get it back, you know. That's the point. 
Or I could just fucking die. And you know the the death sound, the death music is almost like it's laughing at you. It's like, <laughs> it's true. Yeah, <laughs> it is. Now that you know, now that you pointed that out, that makes me even angrier. <clears throat> I want to be middle school for a second. All these trucks what are they, carrying oh, you mom's know what? dildos. This game's called Green Beret in Japan. I just don't, and the jump, like, the jump kick guys are just really, like, I always feel like, um, I'm, like, right on the edge of getting killed by them. And I don't like that either. I don't like that, that it's uneasy It's almost feeling. like, um, like DDR in, in a way. It's, it's pattern recognition, right? Yeah. You look at the guy and you know, you gotta know what he's gonna do and you have to, you have to do the right thing. Or else you get killed. So you see the red guys, you know you gotta jump. See the white guys, you know you gotta stay stationary. See the yellow guys, you know it's like kung fu a little bit. Too. It is, yeah. I was about to say it reminds me a little bit of kung fu right now. So why is kung fu pretty good in this game? I don't know. I didn't know other people actually liked it. Every I I talk about um I don't know. I remember the last time I was at a game store, and it was in I was in Georgia, and uh, we were talking about games and. I would, they were like, oh, what are some of your favorite games? I said, oh, you know, I like most of Konami stuff. And they're, and like, literally, they're like, yeah, so like Contra, and I'm like, well, yeah, that's kind of a gimme. And they're like, yeah, like, and then the next game they said was Russian Attack. And I was like, really? Why? There's so many, I don't know, there's just a lot of, there are, to me, there are a lot better military style games out there. Jackal is one, and it's made by Konami. Uh, heavy Barrel, I like more than this. That's not Konami, though. I know it's oh, not Konami, but I'm talking about... Yeah, like, just military shooting games. So, actually, Heavy Barrel's a Data East game, that's not... It is, the it's the only non-shitty Data East game. <laughs> it's the only Data East game that when I play, I don't want to gouge my eyes out. See, what I think they should have done with this game is what they did with a lot of the arcade games where they ported them but then they changed them around a little bit to be more suited. Yeah. This is more of a straight port and uh, I'm okay with that but I think there's a lot that could have been done to make this game much more fun, much more engaging. Yeah, they should have made it like... Maybe like different knives, I don't know, swords... Fuck, man, that bullet flies real weird. Because <laughs> it's... Because it's like a rectangle. Yeah. Jesus Christ. God damn it! it there's a hesitation <laughs> when you land. There's a hesitation Sorry. when you land. I don't mean to laugh, but it was just funny. I'm an asshole for laughing. You knew I was gonna fucking die there. Too. That's why you left. <laughs> You're like, He's definitely coming. fucking dying. I'm like, here comes the two jump kicks from both sides. There's no way to defend against this. <sighs> Steal a tank, man. That's what I'm saying, like, okay, I'm Russian Attack, I'm guy, I'm a Green Beret, who's wearing blue, instead of green, but whatever. Come on. And, uh, <laughs> come kill yourself. And, I'm on the ground, I have a knife, and there's an army with tanks and, like, missile guns and everything, and they can't figure out how to kill me. Do Green Berets still exist, or was that a thing in the 80s? No, they still exist. I also have to say that the the running animation when you have the rocket launcher is supremely lame. I mean, I think the miracle of Almana was made around the same time as this. And, uh, How did I live? I don't know. And it's much better than this. It's far oh yeah, it's not even close. Why the hell that game never got a U.S. release? I don't know. Fucking, that's the third time I've died on that fucking guy. <sighs> it like fucking lulls you into it. You can't let your guard down for a second in this game. I do, now I feel the same way you do, like I want to get really good at it and beat this game because it's so annoying. You know, the thing about that guy's jump kick is, it is the most 
all in jump kick I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> it's true. He is jump kicking you with the most as hard as he possibly can. Yep. He's either <laughs> he's like I'm either going to jump kick like put my feet through your chest or I'm gonna just gonna fall completely on my ass and look like an idiot. Guys, we're like, oh, I am fucking jump kicking you right now. Don't get me started on modern games. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> I played that game Layers of Fear. <laughs> layers of Fear. Did you hear about this game? No. It's Sounds a, like layers of it's shit. A, it's a first-person horror game. You're all about them horror I, games, dude. It's like the only modern type of game that I can get into. I love them. Anyway, it um, it's on the Unity engine, and maybe that has something to do with it. The controls are so delayed, Ugh. and it's choppy as shit. It's running at like 20 frames a second. Ugh. And it's on Xbox One, and it's an Weird. indie game. So I was disappointed. It actually didn't look like it would be bad. It actually looked pretty good. It reminded me a lot of Penumbra, hmm. which is good. I like that. But it just the the actual the way that it was implemented just wasn't that good. And the other thing that really bothered me was um, the text. The font was so small, you could tell that it was uh, fucking made for computer first. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> the struggle is real. And they just like lazily ported it to to uh, uh, Xbox One. That's annoying. And they didn't because because you the tech the font size on like the stuff you have to read so tiny. That's annoying. Yeah, it's it's just it makes me angry because I wanted to like it and I didn't. Now, on the other hand, I was playing Resident Evil Re Revelations. Mm -hmm. Enjoyed. It's actually fun. It's it's not puzzly, really. It's more combat oriented than avoidance. Okay. But it's fun. I enjoyed it, and and they they have pretty they have some pretty cool mechanics going on. Like a like a team mechanic. So I like. Okay. It. And the first episode is free if you're an Xbox Live subscriber. Oh, cool. It's a good, like, hour or two hours worth of gameplay. Even now, like, consoles, like, you know, there's console exclusives, and they have all this, like, bullshit about how certain DLC goes to certain consoles and stuff, and it's like, the publishers play along with that, and I don't know, I don't understand why they do that, because, like... If you're selling it for three cons, three platforms instead of two, it seems to me that you would probably make more money, right? <laughs> so, like, why would I limit myself to drive up console sales for a company that's not going to give me any of it? Any of the revenue? So I don't understand why companies do that. Like, the, de the, the developers are the ones that have the power in this situation. If no one develops for, your for the console, the console dies. So why are we... What? All right, I don't... <laughs> Holy shit. So yeah, I, like, I, don't, I don't get it. I don't get why consoles do that shit. It's so stupid. It's so stupid. Somebody's greedy. Oh my god, again! <laughs> that guy's just got it. All right, <laughs> red guys jump up in the air. Noted. Okay, done. <laughs> Why does it? Why would it start me back further? I don't know. Maybe it feels bad or something. So it starts me with more of a challenge. There you go. All right, here we go, jetpack boys. <laughs> Plopping hot grenades on your ass. Wow, what the fuck, dude? You did it! All right. <laughs> Level two down. Level three, baby. Fully had continues in this fucker. I have been here before. I've never gotten past this part. Wow, man, they are aggressive as shit. Really fast. <sighs> Is there really no continues in this? Not that I know of. It's fucking lame. Nuts. I was really grossed out by what you said in chat. <laughs> what? You said Soma reminds me of Smells Off My Ass. <laughs> <laughs> so gross. 
As soon as you said it was the first thing I thought of. So... Like, when you say smells of my ass, is that like... Is that like a documentary of the different smells that your ass has? Yes! That's what I it... thought, it was like Tales of the Crypt, but <laughs> okay. for my ass. I thought it was like... You smelled something like, this smells of my ass. <laughs> your ass has been on it. Either way, it's still pretty awesome. And it's ridiculousness. <laughs> Where'd you come up with that? I don't know, you said Soma and that was the first thing I thought of. Uh, I thought of that or something on my ass, but that seemed even weirder. Something on my ass. That sounds like a really, like, really horrible calendar. There's like some random thing on my ass for every month. Yeah, is that that's like a Spencer Gifts calendar, I guess. Yeah. They used to have really cool stuff at Spencer Gifts, not anymore though. Yeah, now it's all weird. I re I'll never forget this one gag thing they had at um, Spencer Gifts. It was called the More Dick Track, and it was a, a tiny treadmill for your penis. <laughs> and I thought that was so weird. That is weird. Like, all those gags from the 80s were ridiculous. Then they had, like, these things called small pecker condoms. You remember those? I do remember those. Seems like Spencer Gifts got less risque. Which is not what you'd expect. Yeah, they're a weird company. <clears throat> Didn't they buy Hot Topic or something? I don't know. They do Spirit Halloween. But, um, Spencer Gifts is headquartered in New Jersey, actually. Didn't I? Oh, that's right! I remember- I should've known that! Head headquartered in Vancouver Township. Cause I remember driving- driving by it all the time. Yeah. My mom used to work there. I remember, like, how our parents used to get so, like... Not mad, but, like, weirded out when we would go in there all the time. Really? Yeah, cause they were always like, they're gonna buy something so stupid. At least my parents were like that. They were like, they were always like, "There's literally are you nothing kidding but me? stupid things." In yeah. Gifts. But though I was gonna buy some like real offensive. But you like know, those I don't really know. cool letters that say like, I don't even know what they said now. Some really sweet ass like saying. <laughs> It'll just be like a lighter that just says like, "Show your tits on it." Yeah. When you get there, there's nothing you can do. You're fucked. You gotta jump toward him. You're just- you don't jump straight so up ridiculous. Him. I like how you just stabbed the guy so hard that you killed the guy- You killed him and the guy behind him. There you go. You did it, bro. We beat the game. How many levels are there? I don't even know. Six. Six! Jesus, we can't even get halfway through? I do feel like I wanna- I- I don't know what it is! I- I- Just sitting here, I'm like, frustrated as shit playing this game. Oh shit. Mayhem. I feel like if you are supposed to be a Green Beret, they should've made that like an American flag. And you red, white, and blue. Oh my god, that is so cheap! Why do these guys look like pirates? In this level. Come on, you jerk. Fucks, I saw you trying to get me. I saw that tactic the last two levels. I got slow and steam coming. Oh, that guy is such an asshole.
The other thing about the weapons and only having three three charges, it like makes me never want to throw them because I never know when I'm gonna need them. Like you didn't need them for the boss, but how are you supposed to know that? Yeah. These guys are getting crazy. Oh, oh man! <sighs> All right, I can't. I can't are we do done? It. Can't do it. God damn it! I know, and I do. I want to beat this fucking game. If there's a like, continue. We'd be. Why. We'd be yeah. close. I don't understand how they didn't put a continue. I'm so upset that I didn't get to the end of that level. Is there a Konami code? There's nothing. Fuck, man. Let me check one more time. Alright, let's let's uh we're not gonna play this game anymore. We're tired. No, fuck this. Uh so let's just do the final thoughts. So Russian Attack is a game that I have played and <laughs> I don't understand why. I just don't. I don't like it. It's just not a good game. I don't. There's no redeeming quality about it whatsoever. I don't understand why this game. And the thing that gets me is, I guess it's just because it says Konami on the sticker. It's the only reason why it commands higher than five dollar prices. I mean, this is like a three to five dollar game. It really is. Like the controls are are sluggish. The game feels really sluggish. It feels like it got the Contra Force treatment where it should have been way faster. And I feel like your character is, like, their attacks are weird. The hitboxes are weird. There's certain times where you just get screwed um, by the enemies and the random placement. And the limited ammo for special weapons is just really bad. Like, three shots is just not enough. And it's like, I don't get, I just don't get it. I don't get this game whatsoever. I don't enjoy it, and I don't get why it has seems to have, like, a cult following. And that's that's like it. The music also sucks. Sorry. Has, this game has a special special place in my heart. I had it when I was young. I do enjoy playing it. I'm having. I had fun the whole time we were playing, and I didn't get into the point where I think you got. Yeah. Like maybe half an hour in, where you're like, I'm done with this. <laughs> um, I, I really want to beat this game and I know it's one of those games where you just have to keep playing it and once you memorize what you need to do in the problem areas you'll be able to beat the game um, but I don't know if it'll be quite as satisfying because it just has a lot of flaws that I think you've already pointed out yeah so um, it's definitely worth five bucks maybe I wouldn't pay more than that though. I've seen and 12 it's, it's, a, it's a com it's a common game yeah and it's a Konami game so the controls are not awful it's just there's a few things that really if they would have changed them would have made the game much more enjoyable and like i said before usually when they port an arcade game to home consoles they adapt it a little bit change it around maybe make it a little easier or do some things to make it just more palatable for home home console right right and this game uh you know, they, they should have done that, and they didn't. So. Yeah, they did none of that, and it just made it just terrible. I would have loved to see a sequel. In this game. Yeah, like, if they fix it, I mean, a two-hit health bar would have been a huge, huge upgrade. Right. Even two hits, like, you get one free hit for life. It would be so much better. Mm -hmm. I agree. But, yeah, I mean, it, it would be cool... To see all the flaws corrected. Maybe we can get a homebrew or something. We can make one. Kind of like that um, Castlevania 2 Redacted or whatever. Yeah, or whatever, where they fix all the problems with it. Like they, yeah. You could fix this if you got a health bar. Yep. It would, the game would be 5,000 times better. Yep. All right. Yep. Well, this is Russian Attack, for, and this is Retro Wednesdays. So, uh, yeah. Uh, until next time. Do 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 do